Breaking right now, we are joined by the people who cracked this case wide open. I will never forget when I saw that billboard that said, did you know me? Do you know my name? Can you call police and tell them my name? Please tell police my name. When I saw that, did you know me? If it weren't for our next two guests, right now we would still not know who baby Bella was. Joining me right now is Michael Sprinsky and his sister, Laura. Laura called police and told them who baby Doe is. She learned this from her brother, Michael, also joining us tonight to both of you. You have no idea what you mean to the crime victim community tonight. And I understand that you've been taking a lot of heat for calling police and I don't get it because in my mind, the two of you are heroes. And I just wanna thank you so much for what you did. And I'm gonna start with Michael Sprinsky. Michael, I understand that you lived in the home for a while with Rochelle Bond, is that right? Um, I can't. I can't uh, speak about that right right now, Nancy. What did you ever speak to Rochelle Bond about Bella? No, um, no, no. Um, I'm very, I'm very shaken up right now, and um, the the tears that um, I'm shedding is um, so emotional and. Um, I, I haven't been able to stop um, crying. It's it's tearing me up inside. It um it really is, and I just I can't I can't. I hear um, that. I can hear that in your voice. Your sister also with us, Laura Sprinsky. Miss Sprinsky, did you contact authorities when you found out what had happened? Yes, I did right away. Thank God. Thank God. You're, you're the only one that knew what happened that actually called police. Um, how did you find out, Ms. Sprinsky, what actually happened to baby Bella? Well, I'm actually not able to tell you the particulars of the case right now because it is an ongoing investigation and it is going to trial. So I'm not at liberty to speak of that. Why did you ultimately tell police? Why did I tell the police? Because I found out that there was a, a murdered child. Did I you? Police, it wasn't because, I mean, you, the way you just said something that I called them because I knew it was her, I didn't 100% know. Oh, okay. You, you did not know what? That the information I had was, uh. in fact, Bella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just had a belief. And what did you tell them? That, again, I'm not able to tell you what I told the police. Um, with me, Michael Sprinsky, who was in the home, did you ever see Rochelle Bond interact with Bella? Yes, yes, I did. What happened? Um, uh, like was I she, said, was I, she I, kind? I, was she kind to the child? Were you worried about baby Bella? Um, I, I can't, I can't, um, I can't discuss the um, particulars of the case. And um, at the time, I wasn't worried. Oh, okay. You were not worried. Did you move out of the home or leave the home? Yes, I, I, I moved out of there. Why did you move out? I um. I I wish I, I wish um I wish I wish I could tell you that um, Nancy. But like like I said, this this goes this goes so deep um, beyond anything that I could ever tell you, and it's an ongoing um investigation and. 
But like I said, it did just go so deep, and um, I'm very, very disturbed and emotional about everything. And um, I just, I just want to see, I just want to see some justice. And I'm glad um, law enforcement was able to um, get these two very quickly. And um, I'm very grateful for that.